You won't stop me fulfilling the prophecy. Wait, what? Be gone. All right, everybody, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of A Space for the Unbound. Now, if that name sounds familiar, it should. As you might recall, us checking this out last year in the form of a prologue. Today, we will be continuing from where we left off. And if you need a reminder, A Space for the Unbound is a charming pixel art adventure game taking place in rural Indonesia circa the 90s. If you are familiar with One Shot, You'll understand the space for the Unbound a bit better, I feel. Charming to look at, but with an underlining sense of mystery and dread. We're able to mind dive into common folk, Inception type style, to help them with issues, but also find out more of the supernatural element that lingers in this town. And did I mention a cat apocalypse? Yeah, there's cats and we're headed straight to a meow field post-human civilization. I kid you not. Now, if you enjoyed what you see here today, check out the provided link down below in the description to pick up a space for the Unbound, now available. Let's go. Atma. Atma, hey. Wake up, you lazy bum. No. Oh. Where? Where am I? I thought I died, I drowned. It's school, silly. School? Why am I... Don't tell me you slept so deeply you lost your memories. I... Adma? You still remember who I am, don't you? You were the girl that was constantly all over the prologue hanging out in the background. The girl of your dreams? Well... That's why you're dating me in the first place now, isn't it? Hey, are you blushing? It's Raya, you sleepyhead. Look at you, forgetting your girlfriend's name right after you've opened your eyes. Never do that again or I'll get really mad at you. Uh, y y yes, ma'am. Girlfriend, huh? Oh, I'm still so drowsy. That was a really wild dream. Yeah, we died. What, what time is it? Class is already over? You were having a really good sleep. Was I? Oh, I'm so tired. It doesn't feel like I slept at all. What happened? I had this weird dream. It, it's haunting me. Weird dream? Oh, I hope I wasn't in it. Uh, actually, you were. Your face filled the entire sky. And you had this awful, creepy smile. Raya? Oh, who is this? Oh no, nobody mentioned the ugly bees in this game. Uh, you still haven't done your future plan consultation. Oh, right. I'm sorry, sir. Come to the staff room as soon as possible. A model student like yourself shouldn't miss an opportunity to prepare for the future. Right. You haven't done it either, have you, Atma? Yeah, but you didn't ask me because you have other intentions, don't you, Agung? Uh, hey, what is that? What is what? Yeah, that. A meeting we seniors have with teachers to discuss what we plan to do after graduation. It's about grades, subjects, and universities we're interested in. Sounds boring, huh? Yeah. And what should we do with the form? Let's see. What if we change this into... This. Handsome Atma and Raya's epic bucket list. Write down anything you want to do, even if it's silly. It's planning for the future, right? What should I write? Whatever comes to mind. Uh, let me write something first, then. Uh, what movie should we watch? It doesn't matter as long as we go together. It's a date, then. You bet. It's your turn. What do you want to do? Listen to music and bawl my eyes out. <laughs> I mean, only when I'm intoxicated. Hey, how about we do something from the list right now? And now is in right now? Yeah, it'll be fun. Come on. For your girlfriend, please. Oh, okay. What do you want to do? Do you want me to sneak booze into the school or what? It's been a while since we went to the movies together. Yeah, let's skip the future consultation. Skip school? 
Mr. Agunia said you were a model student. I'm a model student, not a slave. I want to skip school once in a while. Oh, if you say so. Come on, I'm looking forward to skipping the consultation session. You skip classes now and then, Adma, so... How do you do this class skipping thing? Well, first by not announcing it out loudly. Oh no, wait f Whoa, God. Just too fast. Oh, what's this? Koala Cola World Cup. Very sporty looking. Hmm. You know, maybe some of those bottle caps. Alright, where's my girl, lad? She's just way too fast. W where did Raya go? She's surprisingly fast. Oh, it's the Juggernaut! Okay, cool. I just got killed. I, I, I literally am dead. Oh, I crashed into someone. No, no, no. We were just hanging out, dude. This woman apparently tackled us. Uh, I'm sorry. You heard? I'm... I'm fine. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, fine, I guess. Oh, look. You dropped your book. Huh? Oh, that's the book from the prologue. That's how we were diving into people Inception style. This isn't my book. Huh? Strange. It's not mine either. Wait. Somehow I feel like I've seen this book before. What do you mean? Was it in my dream? I'm not sure. Your name's on the cover. What? Atma? That's you, right? Yeah, but how? Are you sure it's not yours? You know, walk away after giving me like a class two concussion, huh? Oh, what is this book? I remember seeing what's written inside of my dreams. A little peek won't hurt anyone, right? Ah, so this is gonna be how we track our objectives, huh? How dare you try to skip the afternoon class? Oh, she got caught. Oh no, she wasn't. It's a gung, though. N no, we're not. We we're just, you know, going to the toilet, sir. When all three of them together, it's fine. Girls do it all the time. Y yes, Mr. Ogung, and looking for snacks in in the restroom. You all know why you have to attend the afternoon class, don't you? For your own good. But other kids skip it too. Shh, you moron! If you don't succeed it the right way, I guess we're gonna go the wrong way. The left way. What is this military official doing out here? Ugh, kids these days don't care about their future. Where is that Atma? He won't escape. Not this time. <laughs> why is he after me? What have I done? Why are the teachers looking for me? I have to be careful. If I'm careful, I could sneak past the teacher behind this wall. It's worth a try. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Chill. How are we gonna jump this? It's too tall to climb over. There must be some way to climb it. If only I had some tools. Yeah, if only we brought our climbing gear to school today, huh? Then this wouldn't be a problem. Any clues here? Hey. Hey, Atma. Wanna join our club? Uh, what club? Well... <laughs> no mountain is too tall. And no cliff is too steep to stop our adventure. We are... The Hiking Club. Oh, if all I could see is in action, we would entice you with the very art of the climb. Well, I'm looking to climb right now. Why can't I? Y you can show me right now. It's the new guy. He keeps missing our practice. To sleep, of all things. Uh, he has all of our climbing equipment. It's a disaster. Yo! Uh, nothing beats using a rope to climb over a uh, wall to skip school. What are you doing out here? There you are. You took the, you took way too long. You don't even know everything I went through to get out of that. Hey, why don't we buy some cat food for her? I don't have money to buy cat food. Maybe I do. Where? Karunia's Diaja's General Store. Let's check there first. No, I still have no need to. Oh right, I forgot you bought five packs of fried rice during break this morning. Sounds good. A little bit excessive, but good. You always say that you can't resist the smell of them frying the garlic. I mean, who can? Garlic is so good. Do I? You do. <laughs> Typical Atma. Well, you know, about the money. Why don't you check her pocket? You might have some coins left. I told you I don't have any. What's that you're asking? Yeah. 
as I've mentioned, supernatural. How's it going, lads? Zelda, don't mind me just vlogging my girl here. I think we might be doing something very illegal for YouTube, which is holding hands. I mean, we weren't quite, but I lined myself in such a way that it looked that way. We have arrived. Now, where did they keep the cat food? Yo, my man. What if I just throw money at him? Will he start stripping? What do you want to buy, kiddo? Pick an item, then I'll tell you the price. Boy, bad dog, come here. What is that happening? Uh oh. Is that our cat? Oh no, how did this happen? What's going on? Adam of the cat, she. Oh shoot. What should we do? There must be a way to drive the dog away. Okay, let's try this. Hey, doggy! <laughs> Look what I've got! <laughs> no, it's not me. I don't need you to come and shred me instead of the cat. It's a... is it stick? Fetch? Nope! Yo, my friend. <laughs> your cat... your dog's about to murder a cat. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't keep up with him anymore. Oh, I lost this. Oh, his favorite toy. Now... now he's angry. Oh, I dropped it near the general store, but... I try to look for it. I was already gone. General store. Okay. Uh, I know where that's at. But wait! Hey, that's, uh... Huh? Isn't that a dog toy? Where'd you get it? That's none of your business, prick. Uh, can I have it? <laughs> Sorry. For not seeing your tail earlier. I didn't realize you needed to chew on this. What? No, there's, there's this dog that... Hey, woof woof. Buzz off. Go whine to someone who gives a damn. What's your problem, dude? I'm asking you nicely. You could at least answer properly. You're the problem, mutt. Some random kid coming out of nowhere, flirting with girls, doing whatever you want. And you're dumb enough to try and tell me what to do? Oh, what, are you, what are you jealous because I have a girl? Is that what it is? Don't you know who I am? I'm Eric. My gang rules this town, so you better watch yourself around us. Okay, look. Just let me have let me have the toy, and I won't bother you anymore. Oh, you want it so bad, huh? Your life's been rough lately. You see, I need to loosen up a bit. I need to ride my bike into the sunset, smoking a big cigar. But oh, what a tragedy! I don't have any on me. You want me to get you a cigar? I wouldn't ask. But you just offer like a good puppy you are. There, there. Go fetch a pack of cigars, mutt. I mean... Aren't we gonna get in trouble, both of us? Like me trying to solicit cigarettes? Did even sell some here? I mean, there was a little, like, stand out here. Right, yeah, I saw that earlier. Spirits. Super style. Okay. Um... Sir? <laughs> are you sure this is not a police operation? It's not a sting. I just really needed that dog toy. I heard what's going on. Oh, I can explain. Don't worry, no questions asked. You need a cigar, right? I have one right here. I'll even give you a discount. Oh, what a good boy. Should I give you a pad? Just stop it. Can I have the dog toy now? Hey, dog. I have a name. It's Adma. Whatever. Just answer one question before I give you this. Is there anything between you and Raya? None of your business. It's a little too hard for a mongrel to answer, huh? You want an answer, and that's my answer. With this nonsense, and don't go back on your word. A cigar for a dog toy. Such an accusation. I'm not a dog like you. I'm a man of my word. Here. Go run and wag your tail elsewhere. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and wag my tail in front of, uh... Well, you know what? I was going to say in front of Raya, but then it sounds like, you know, you're wagging something else, which would be rather perverse. Never mind. I'm not giving you satisfaction, Eric. Look, you can't even... Good. <laughs> he doesn't even like it. <laughs> I can't control something, no. It's just doing automatically. We'll do it there, and we'll let go through there. Give it the old painted manning bomb. Off he goes. I think we've done it. Yeah, I did it! Nicely done, Atma. What? What is it now? Alright, come down here, cat. Everything's good. Oh, the cat still looks very scared. 
Don't worry, kitty. I'll come up and get you. Bad idea. Here, kitty, I have got your... What are you asking for? Oh no, I'm gonna die again? Do you want to hear the final chapter? Oh, hold on, Nirmala. Atma. Atma? What? <laughs> what is happening? Atma, are you okay? I... What happened? You fell. Are you hurt? No, I, I don't feel any pain. I mean, you stopped me the moment of impact. What were you thinking? Be careful next time, dummy. Hey, calm down. I'm okay. How can I calm down? You're not a cat. Meow? This is no time for joking around. What was that meow about? That was silly. Huh. No, oh, it's getting to you. It's one of those slowly creeping jokes. Has she always lived a life full of danger like this? Not to mention the heat or rain. Where has she been taking shelter? Living as a stray cat is tough, huh? I can't take a cat home. Yeah, me neither. What if we made her a house? What? We could build it. A shelter and a safe place to sleep. Wouldn't that be great? I mean, that'd be wonderful. She agrees. Well, uh, where do we start? Did you buy cat food? Yeah, I have it. Nice, then we need something to put her, put the food in. A bowl, maybe. As for the shelter, we need a board of some kind. Something strong enough to make a sturdy wall for a cat house. Add a pillow inside so it's comfy enough for her to sleep. What do you think? A bowl, a board, and a pillow. Alright. Well, then good luck. Wait, I'm searching for the stuff myself? Once you got them, we'll build it together. I started blasting. Bang! Wow. Bang! There he is, look at this. He's got a shelter fit for a king now. What do you mean that's not polite? It is polite. What are you two talk oh you were talking to the you were talking to the cat? Uh nothing. The wall looks decent at least. She didn't like it, huh? It's fine. Well, I guess it's not fit for a queen then. Alright, here we are. What do we have on deck? Cyborg Raptor Returns? Is there any cats in these movies? Yeah, miss it. Any movies about cats or any animals? Um, a prehistoric animal is the main character in Cyborg Raptor Returns. Technically, a raptor is an animal. Not in that sense, you know. And I believe there's some cats walking around in the background in Manahari. That doesn't count. Look, both of you. I'm just doing my job. Do you guys want to buy some tickets or not? Well, we're already here. Which one should we watch? Oh, I think, uh, <laughs> I definitely want this one. Look, it's, it's, ter it's Terminator 2. So many things happen today, you know? But I'm glad I can sit here and watch a movie with you right now. Yeah, so am I. And I got something to make it perfect. You bought the overpriced popcorn? Of course not, dummy. I brought it from home. Everyone knows you have to smuggle your own snacks into cinemas. I mean, she's not wrong. Yo, Adma, put a ring on this one. What a cunning move. And that's my girl. May I have some? Of course. There's no way you can enjoy a movie without popcorn. As you always said. Uh, did I? The curtains are going up. Shh. Oh no, YouTube, I'm sorry. I think we held hands. An explosion, could that be? Cyborg Raptor? You've returned! I am back. Come with me if you want to leave in the prehistoric era. It's Terminator. That can't be. Huh. Hasta la vista. <laughs> he roared. Oh, I'd love to see this movie, to be honest with you. What should we do now, Cyborg Raptor? I need your clothes, your books, and your cats. Cats? Yeah, cats? Yo, is Raya messing with the movie now? I'll be back. With the Catman. I'm Catman. Meow louder, my underling. Great. This is Cat Wonderland. Here you can eat and nap as much as you like. This movie's getting weirder. Shh. 
Mew, boss. Don't cry, my dear. Cat Wonderland has finally found the right heir. Now it's time to go back to my box. Thank you, Catman. Thank you. <laughs> Look at Atma's face. That's basically everybody right now. Like, what's happened here? <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, despite, despite the weird change of direction, sure, it was interesting. The best part was when Catman chose to live a simple life at the end. Yeah, it was a good end. Cat Wonderland seems like a nice concept. Just imagine a place where you can pet cats all day. And here we go. Wait, this is... Cat Wonderland? It really exist? Well, not at first, but I just created it. You want? Is that the guy, the cat that we built a shelter for? Oh, it speaks now, too. So, this is my superpower, kind of. I've had this power the whole time, you know. I was so afraid people would see me as a freak, I still am. But I want to let you know, and today seemed like a perfect time to tell you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner, I understand if you're mad or scared of me. No, I absolutely love this power! Hey, that's, that's alright, alright. All this, it's wonderful. Well, this is my superpower. I'm glad you're telling me all this. It's kind of unexpected, though. I'm still trying to get my head around the nature of your power. What do you want to know? Does your power have any side effects? I'm okay, but yes, my power has its limits. I'll get weaker and weaker until I pass out from exhaustion if I overdo it. Hmm. So I have to use it carefully. You have some cat food left over, don't you? Let's feed them. There's one guy here apparently phasing out of existence. It's no use, he doesn't seem to like it. Yellow flower, like the one in my dream. Wait, I have the red book too. Could it be? What was it called? Space dive? I can do it in real life too? I guess there's no harm in trying. I mean, is this real life though? This is like more like uh Cat <laughs> Wonderland, right? We can, okay. This flower thing. It was when I space dived that into that girl. What was her name again? It's the girl who we Drown trying to save. And what's this doing here? Some paper, no, a storybook draft. It is time. The world has ended. The whole planet will crumble into dust. Some would call it a mere child's drawing, but it's more than that. Who's there? It's a prophecy. One that tells of the fate of this world. You won't stop me fulfilling the prophecy. Wait, what? Be gone. Raya, what just happened? I don't know. The end is near. They look like they're ready to attack. The cats are acting strange as they space dive. Did I mess up? Why, how did it turn out this way? Adam, hang on. Go away. But, but I just, I just fed you guys. Raya, the, the, the cats hurt you? No, but the side effects. Oh no. It's my fault, I'm sorry. Look, you, you look sick, we need to get you home immediately. What the hell happened to this place? Hell? The humans are acting like cats. Well, let's uh, space dive. And do a little bit of uh, puzzle solving here. Cabrina's Adventures? <laughs> Is that supposed to be Sabrina? There's something wrong with this poster. The cats seem attracted to it. Yeah, because you replace Sabrina with a cat. Aha, uh -huh, less cats. Cyborg Cat Returns. See, this one I blame on Adma. Or, wait, I'm Adma. On Raya, I should say. Okay. Somebody in there? It 
Eternal Cat of School's End. Don't know what that's a reference to. Eternal Cat. It wouldn't be Eternal Sunshine, would it? Great movie, by the way. I don't think it would be that, though, because this is like mostly 1990s references. Claw, 1991. No longer Claw. Thank you. Here. It's a mess around here. You, you might need this. You're giving me a broom? Next guy. Should we just beat him with the broom out here? Nah, that probably won't do it. Okay. Here we have a mess. Oh. Well, luckily for us, we have ourselves a broom. <laughs> you right, pal? Oh, that was it for him? Oh, that was an easy one. Hold up. There's an item here. I found a key. It might be useful. Cinema door key. Huh. You've been here all this time? Yes, son. I've been under a pile of junk like this all my life. But this seems like the worst pile of junk I've ever seen. I hate my job. Well, at least you're no longer going to be a cat. Man. Pretender. Hating his job. Yeah, he's off the counter now. That's good. So now it's you. Okay, let's get this out of the way. And the key as well? Yes. Uh, I'm finally out! Thank you! Everybody's back to normal, but the place is still wrecked. More people going crazy. That's a problem. Please wait here, I'll take a look. Uh, how is this? What is he, like a cat martial artist or what? Oh no, I didn't check the out if the outside was affected. What the hell is going on? Is, is everyone in the world affected? Hey there, buddy. It's okay, I, I can help you. I don't think we can help that. <gasps> hey, calm down. He's so strong, I can't break loose. Hey, le let me go. If you grip like that, I... I, I can't... Br what am I doing here? He's back to normal? Alright everybody, that being said, we're out of time with this one. This has been the entirety of Chapter 1 for A Space for the Unbound. Hopefully you enjoyed. Very much like in the prologue, we had another person apparently passing away. This time it wasn't us. It was Raya. So as I've mentioned, absolutely charming game. But there's some definite mystery underneath all the layers of it. But if you guys enjoyed what you saw here today, down below in the description, I will have a link for you guys to pick up A Space for the Unbound, now completely available. Full game on Steam. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.